Hey everybody, it's my 125 gallon native tank and I'm doing a big old water change on it tonight. I have been keeping up on the water changes uh, fairly well, but I have been really really slacking on the filter changes as of late and every time I get over here and do some work on this tank I always figure you know what I'll just do a real quick water change I'll do a really big one I'll get to the filter next time it's no biggie it hasn't been that long and I've been doing that a lot I've put this off so many times now that tonight I decided I don't care how late it is I'm just getting in here and we're gonna go ahead and do the whole thing so the filter is torn apart I have repacked it and it is ready to be refilled and set back up and get to running. Uh, this is the Sunsun 404B. It's not the 304B. This is the newer version. I don't know if it's newer or not, but it's new to me. I'd never seen it until recently. So I got it thinking it was going to be an upgraded version and I don't like it as much as the 304B. So if I ever buy another one, it will be the 304B, not the 404B. Uh, one of the things I don't like about it is the 404B does not have a switch that you can turn the UV light off. It's just on when the filter is on. So when you plug that filter in, that UV light comes on. There's no way to turn it off. If you want the UV light not on, you actually have to physically remove or disconnect the bulb from the inside. Uh, at least that's the only way I've ever been able to figure out how to do it if I want to remove the UV bulb. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is it's late at night and I don't have time to put all this other video I'm working on together. Uh, I've actually still got my head cam strapped on and I'm getting ready to do the middle segment of the video where we talk about putting the filter back together and getting the water filled up and so on and so forth because we're getting down to about where I'm going to start refilling the tank about 50%. Uh, maybe 60% water change is what we're going to do tonight. It's going to be a pretty big one. And you can see, once again, when the water level is low, you can see the difference between looking through tannins. Well, again, once I get close to it, the, white, the light sort of washes everything out. But you can see the difference between the tannin stained water and looking through clear air. Now, that's nowhere near approaching black water, but... This tank doesn't look all that tannin stained until you actually see what it would look like if it just had clear water in it and suddenly you realize how yellow that water really is. So we're doing a pretty big water change. Again, when I fill it back up, don't know how well the before and after is going to come out. I'm using my GoPro head cam and those videos never really turn out good for detail, but they will give us a good look at when I tore that filter apart. Uh, and I'm warning you, it was a doozy. It's not for the squeamish. It was a dirty, dirty filter when I got in there. So look forward to that video. Uh, that's kind of the whole point of this video is just to let you know I'm finally done that. I'm working on the video as we speak. Like I said, I still got the uh, camera on my forehead. We're going to go ahead and do the next segment right now. So I'll say thanks for watching this one. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss that video or anything else. Don't forget this one is my... <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget this one is my 125 gallon native tank and I'll see you real soon in the next one.